First thing you need to understand with AccuDraw is its behavior. Whenever you plan to work with AccuDraw, if you're copying, creating an element, moving, you want to move your cursor in the direction you tend to work, and then you just type in the distance. To demonstrate, I'm going to take this tree, and I'm going to move it by its center point, so I do a data, I'm in the move command. My AccuDraw window is open here, just for visualization. We're going to click on this. If I move my cursor to the left, you'll notice it activates one of the fields on the AccuDraw window. If I move my cursor down, you'll see it activates that window, the X field. As I move it down, I want to, let's say, make a copy 30 feet down. I just type in 30, I do a data, reset, and I'm done. The next shortcut we'll look at is called the Smart Lock, or invoked by the Enter key. What this allows you to do is lock on the axis nearest your cursor. So let's say, for example, I was going to copy this tree down, and I need to copy it by its center point down to the midpoint of this block right here. So I grab the tree to copy, I do a data, I've moved my cursor in this direction. Anywhere in this quadrant, I hit enter, it's locked me on the axis, I can move it down, snap to the middle of the block, data, and then reset. The next two shortcuts we'll look at are T and V. Currently, the view I'm in right now is rotated. You can see that the north arrow is pointing up slightly to the left. If I was to start and pick up this line right here, you can see my compass is currently in the views X and Y. If I wanted to go and put the fence along the north bearing, I could hit T for top. That would rotate the compass to the design file's top. Or if I hit V for view, you can see it's a slight rotation, but that's the views X and Y. So I'll hit T for top, move my cursor along this angle here. The next two shortcuts we'll look at essentially do the same thing. They set the origin. One is by the letter O, and the other one is a shortcut, holding the control key down and snapping or doing a tentative. So my scenario here is I need to take this tree and copy this tree by its center, and I need to place the copy relative to this block here, 10 feet to the left. So I'm going to demonstrate the letter O first. I select this tree, data. I'm now dragging it around. I move my cursor here. I see AccuSnap there. On my keyboard, I press O. The compass appears at that spot. Now I can place the tree relative to that location. I move it to the left. I type in 10, I data, and then reset. I'm going to go ahead and do an undo. The next one, I'll be placing a cell. When I go to place the cell, AccuDraw is not active, so I need to make it active. That's where the control snap comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and move my cursor here near that spot, hold the control key down, control snap, and I've placed the compass there. Now I can place it, and you can see the perpendicular tick mark appears. I can just do a data. The next shortcut we'll look at is the letters R, Q, and the letters R, E. Both of these AccuDraw shortcuts let us rotate the compass. First one we'll look at is R, Q. So if I go to the Place Smart Line, I'm going to place in, I need to place in a little walk area here for the pedestrians. So I'm going to start my line, and you can see my compass is currently in the view orientation. I need to rotate it to be parallel to this, so I'll type in R, Q. This suspends the command, puts me in the rotate compass. I move my per cursor to this point here. I do a data. The compass is rotated. I'm back into my command. Placing my line, I move my cursor out. I'll do 15 feet. I'll do a data. Then I'll move it off. And I'll use the enter or smart lock to lock it on this axis and to find the length here. And then I can bring it home and data. That's the RQ shortcut. Next one we'll look at is the RE shortcut. So let's say, for example, I'm going to copy this tree. I'm going to make a copy to the right series of copies. I do a data to pick the tree. Now you can see my compass appears. Compass is currently in the view rotation. I need to rotate it to be parallel to this line. So I type in RE, suspends my command, puts me in the rotate compass. Watch my compass rotate when I do a data on this line. Now the compass is parallel to the curb. I can then come in and define the distance. I'll type in 20 feet, data, and reset. And I can continue on down. The next two shortcuts we'll look at will suspend AccuDraw and will also suspend AccuSnap. I'm going to go and demonstrate 
moving this text. When you go to move an element, AccuDraw will go to the data point there. We'll rotate to the view. And as I go to move this, if I wanted to move the text over just a little bit, you can see that it wants to jump back to the origin of where I did a data, in this case, the insertion point of the text. If I type in HA, this will suspend AccuDraw. I still have the AccuSnap trying to find the center of the text. That shortcut is HU. And now I can move my cursor freely. I've suspended both of them. I move the text just a little bit. I do a data. And what if I went back and did another data? Both AccuSnap and AccuDraw are both enabled again. So HA suspends AccuDraw. HU suspends AccuSnap. Next, we're going to talk about AccuDraw shortcuts that only are available when you're working in a 3D file. The file that I currently have open is a 3D file, and the view that I'm currently in is isometric, so you could see up here. I'm going to go ahead and place a block, give you an idea of how these shortcuts are going to work. The first one we're going to talk about is uh, V for View. So as I start my block here, you'll notice that my compass appears in an isometric orientation. If I hit the letter V, this rotates the compass to the views X and Y, or flat to my screen. If I hit T for top, that's the design file's top orientation. If I go ahead and hit F for front, that rotates the compass around to the front. If I hit S for side, there's the side rotation. You will be doing these quite a bit while working in 3D. Most of the tools you'll work with will automatically rotate you, but you will need to pay attention to what orientation you're in. The next three shortcuts we'll look at allow us to rotate the AccuDraw compass about the three axes, X, Y, and Z. I'm going to go ahead and start a line. My AccuDraw compass is currently in the front orientation, and you'll see that there's a red and a green tick mark. The green is the Y, the red is the X axis. AccuDraw is active. I'm going to rotate the AccuDraw compass 90 degrees about the red tick mark, or the X axis. I do that by typing in RX. You can see the compass rotated about the red tick mark or the x-axis. Now I'm going to rotate about the z by typing in rz. And you can see that rotated about the z-axis. And then we'll rotate about the y-axis by typing in ry. This is very helpful when you're working in 3D. Oftentimes the compass isn't rotated in the direction you want. So being able to rotate it by the red or the green axes can be very helpful. In addition to that, the RE shortcut can be very helpful. Let's say I start my line here, and I want to rotate the AccuDraw compass to match the angle of this line right up here. All I have to do is type in RE, move my cursor over this, do a data. You can see the compass rotates to match it. Again, very helpful in 2D and in 3D.